Many know about the tornado that leveled Greensburg, Kansas in May of this year. What you might not know is the tornado was two miles long and traveled over 20 miles with 234 mile per hour winds. It was also the first EF5 recorded since the May 3rd tornado that swept through Moore, Oklahoma in 1999. Now six months later, the cleanup continues in Greensburg. Thanks to one Oklahoma FFA group and some creative thinking, Greensburg will begin to grow again. What do you do with a surplus of redbud trees that have overgrown your flower bed? Well, you find a good home for them. And as I was taking care of the flower beds, saw all these little trees coming up and I thought I cannot throw these away. Pat McGriff from Warwicka, Oklahoma is a retired school teacher and volunteers her time to keep the school grounds looking nice. I just knew that we would find a place for the trees. So I worked around them. They looked pretty shaggy. People were wondering why the flower beds didn't look as good as they usually did. But I never dreamed that the trees would get this big this fast. And after a little over a year, the trees became the main focus of a community service project for the Warwick FFA. We heard about a community in Kansas, Greensburg, Kansas, that had uh, got blown away by a tornado last spring. And we thought, what a better way than uh, instead of throwing these red buds away, give them to Greensburg, Kansas uh, and to the community up there. FFA instructor Chris Kidd says the opportunity allows his students to learn something that can't be captured in just any school book. Something that I'm trying to instill in uh, the members of Warwick FFA is service and that leadership uh, is action, not just a position, but it's action. Something FFAers were doing plenty of on this cold, dreary fall afternoon Sophomore Tanner Eld. Yeah, we just we're not doing it. Just we're not doing it for no fame or people look at us and say, "Oh, they're good people." We're doing it because, well, that's what Warwick FFA does. We help others. Sophomore Jace Dunn, who worked the majority of the day, is excited about one tree in particular. Uh, Mrs. McGriff braided this tree when it was really young, and we're wanting this tree to go to their school, from our school to their school hoping to make a connection that will last a lifetime as they load up to take a trip that will give some Warica students a new perspective on how devastating tornadoes can really be. These grain bins behind me were one of the few structures left after the tornado swept through Greensburg, Kansas, leaving literally the entire city in ruins. Now Warwick FFA hopes to bring in new hope and regrowth for a community that is desperately trying to rebuild. We only have maybe half the population right now. These 4-H'ers met the FFA group when they came to town and gave their accounts of what it is like in Greensburg now. You were saying your house is right over there where that shed is? Yes. Were you guys in it? Uh... My mom was the only one home and she was okay. Really? Yep. And it just leveled your house? Yep. We had the plywood for on top of the basement was there, but everything on top of it was gone. We're still in cold water, but we should be back into our new house in a couple weeks, so it's exciting. Exciting because only a handful are fortunate to have new houses built, even though it has been six months since the tornado swept through Greensburg. It'll take a while for the town to regrow and for us to get our population back, but uh, you know, three, four, five years down the road, we hope to be recovered and, and uh, look a lot better than we do now. Darren Hedrick is the superintendent of the Greensburg Public Schools and says since the tornado, attendance is down by 75% but because of generous donations like these trees, it takes some of the burden off of the rebuilding process. And all the donations are nice, and we've had help from all over the country, and obviously this donation from uh, the FFA kids down in Oklahoma is, is just, just strengthens what we have going on. I mean, a whole bunch of trees, some flowers, and if you look around, you'll notice that not only were all our homes devastated and our offices and our businesses and our schools, but, uh, you know, there's it, all the trees, all the grass, all the plant life, which is hammered just as well. The two trees bonded together mean that with us being together that we'll grow stronger and strength and everything. And, just and the tree Jace Dunn and Miss McGrith saved for the school immediately created a special bond between the two communities. Kiowa County Extension Agent Carmen Stoth. 
they're taking that caring spirit and and stretching that across not only you know city or county lines they're tr stretching it between two states and i thought it was very appropriate that the ffa um, ladies presented the tree to the school i talked about how they intertwined the two schools permanently by pre presenting that intertwined tree to represent that while also gaining a deeper appreciation about what it means to give back by delivering the trees firsthand. Well, I mean, it feels like we're doing something. I mean, because a lot of times in FFA, I guess. I mean, it's my first year in FFA, actually. But uh, in a lot of organizations, you don't feel like you're actually doing something. And I guess this gives us an opportunity to feel like we're giving back to a community, especially one that's not ours. And it's so far away. Yeah. yeah. You would never think of, we're going to Kansas to give them trees. It's definitely been a blessing for me to do this, and uh, it's something I'll never forget. As a new bond has been formed by an act of generosity and a few saplings ready to be planted. Greensburg, Kansas.